Hello and welcome back to Penn State Sports Diet. I'm Matt McLaughlin alongside Lexi Lideline and Alexis Yoder. Both Penn State basketball teams start their seasons this week. Micah Shrewsbury enters his first season as the head coach of the Nittany Lions. While some players return from last season, there are many newcomers to the roster. It is uncertain how Penn State will look in its season opening game against Youngston State. Lexi, what are you on the lookout for this season from this team? Well, I'm definitely on the lookout to see how Penn State sets up their starting five. I definitely think this is a good outlook on how the starting five is going to look this Wednesday against Youngstown State. Miles Dredd, Seth Lundy, Sam Sessoms, John Hara, all returning players, and they acquired Jalen Pickett from the transfer portal. I think this group is strong, mostly upperclassmen, juniors, sophomores, and seniors. I think they can do a lot of damage with this crew, and I don't see it changing anytime soon. I think they may sub in for Miles Jetter, Seth Lundy, but also Sam Sessoms. I think he's gonna have to prove himself a little bit too. He was sharing the position of point guard with Jamari Wheeler, since Jamari Wheeler has left to OSU, gross. But Sam Sessoms, I think, will do a really good job as a senior in that spot, leading the starting five. Also, the coaching staff, brand new with Michael Shrewsbury, as you said, in his first season, as well as Coach Collins, Coach Fairley, and Coach Fisher, all new assistant coaches. I think they have a lot to prove, but I think they're doing a really good job so far setting up this team for a great season to go. Also, fluency. Penn State was really fluent last year and almost made it into Big Ten play, but I think they can do a really good job with this starting five and with their new coaching staff as well. What do you think, Alexis? Yeah, I agree, and I think a big part of this team this year is going to be seniors Miles Dredd and John Hare. They have a lot of experience in the Big Ten, and that's something Coach Shrewsbury has really harped on when he's spoken with the media. That experience in the Big Ten pays off mightily when you're going against opponents like, like Illinois, like Purdue, that have so many top weapons up and down their team. So, they're really going to be important. Yeah, looking at the forward position, I really think that they have a lot of more depth than they had last season. Behind John Hare, they have Greg Lee, they have Giovanni Scott, but those two are going to be out for we don't know how long. Michael Shrewsbury announced that today. So they're really going to have to rely on Jelani White, another transfer behind John Hare. Both of those two are going to have to split a lot of the minutes down low. And then you also have Seth Lundy, who's listed as a forward, but he can pop out and contribute in the mid-range game as well as at the high post. But uh, like you said, uh, Jalen Pickett is really going to be splitting time at that point guard spot with Sam Sessom. So you can look for those two to uh, play off each other up top. And then also Miles Dredd. I think you talked about this a little bit before we were starting. That game-winning shot that he hit against VCU, they're going to have to expect a lot more from that senior guard heading into this season. And John Harrow will have all eyes on him as he's the king of a certain Pennsylvania region that we shall not name. Transitioning to women's basketball, the Lady Lions open their season Tuesday night against Long Island University. Head coach Carolyn Keeger's team returns key players from last season and added one via the transfer portal in Ally Campbell. Alexis, what do you expect Penn State to look like this season? Yeah, I think, first of all, Carolyn Keeger is entering her third season leading the Lady Lions. The third season is really where we start to see her work in the, in the uh, transfer portal and the recruiting path payoff. She's got a lot of players in this program now that she's recruited specifically to this program, whether it's the transfer portal, whether it was out of high school. She's got a lot of her work coming in, and it's really going to pay off. I really want to go to uh, Kelly Jaycott to start off. She's a returning for her sixth season of her college career and she's coming off of an ACL injury last year that left her sideline for most of the season but through her first couple games of the season she really put up some huge numbers for this team was their leading scorer, leading rebounder and they're really going to need a lot more of that this year especially with Janasia Cash leaving the program but they also have forward Anna Camden and they have t one transfer in Ali Brigham who's really going to bring a lot of collegiate experience to the forward position, something this team desperately needs as they're very guard heavy. But speaking of that guard position, look for McKenna Marisa, Naya Beverly, and Shea Hagens to take up a lot of that leadership. They have a lot of experience in the collegiate game, so they're going to rely on those couple players as well as Brigham and Camden down low to balance out this attack. Lexi, I know you want to talk about Ali Campbell, the uh, local hero. What, are, what can we expect from her this season? Yeah, you know, you said Ali Campbell came off an injury. We're not quite sure what that injury was. Mm -hmm. Also, Kelly Jackot. So it'll be great to see them play for Penn State. Kelly coming in for her sixth season as a graduate student. Mm -hmm. The only player on the team to have seen NCAA tournament play. So that's a big contributor as well, Carolyn Keeger, like she said, going into her third season. And 
since Carolyn Keeger has joined the Penn State squad, the team has been advancing in all categories, in points, in steals, in every single category. And I think that's big to note as well. They've added a few new positions to the coaching staff. And also Nia Beverly, like you said, she's a senior. She's going to be leading the team along with her teammates, Kelly Cheka and Anna Camden. I think they're going to be big key players in leading this team to a definite, I think, Big Ten uh, tournament bid and potentially NCAA tournament uh, playoff. How do you not trust a basketball player with the last name Cash? I mean, come on, the t-shirts <laughs> are there. But the men's team will face Youngston State Wednesday inside the Bryce Jordan Center at 8.30, while the women's team will host Long Island University at home on Tuesday at 7. That'll do it for us here at Penn State Sports Night. For Lexi Lideline and Alexis Yoder and the rest of us here at PSSN, I'm Matt McLaughlin, and have a great night. Thank you for watching this edition of Penn State Sports Night. If you're a fan of our content, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more clips. Also, follow us on Twitter at PSSN TV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with all the action. For all my colleagues, we are Penn State Sports Night.